My Hero Academia now. I just want to say, I'm a bunch of these names. And there are names that I don't remember, so I'm just going up details that I, the characters that I know and their quirks. Um, My Hero Academia is easily one of the best animes I've ever seen. And I don't watch a lot, though. <laughs> Because it's, like, so hard to, like, get into it being an American. And it's, like, well, you don't start off. My only history is Dragon Ball and Naruto and One Punch. And that's it, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and so, like, people talk about shows. It's like, oh, whatever. And then you just accidentally fall into it and you open a Crunchyroll and it's, like, Okay, scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, this is this is this is overwhelming me. So, yeah, I don't even know how I got into it. I think I just was trying to find some on Hulu that was not Seinfeld twenty four hours a day. So, uh, let me check this out. Um, and I'm glad I did because it's amazing. Um, I would say my favorite character is I don't know. Oh, Todoroki popped in my head first. Uh, I think that's just because he's cool and he's basically Zuko um, but I don't know I really like Midoriya like I don't know why I really like Izu Midoriya um, I like all my I don't like the skeleton form I don't know why it just throws me off hard as fuck but I like all my I thought he was so cheesy but then it's like man no oh, like he got serious in season three. Um, and to see like the characters grow, bro, it's just a complete story that they're telling. It's not all over the place like Naruto, where you have a flashback that could last like 20 episodes. You have a fight. Everything they do, they explain. <laughs> like, okay, dude. And then they start off the episode with, five minutes from the episode last week so you just like what this is not a recap you literally I could just go rewind and go play this shit back if I wanted to see it um what else like Naruto um it, it doesn't feel I don't want to say like fake phony or whatever <laughs> cause it's still anime and it still has people with powers and abilities powers or abilities quirks is what they call it but at some point Naruto is like this is this is super sci-fi like there's aliens there's um, crazy abilities that can blow the earth apart but don't blow the earth apart like and it's like you 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 can be as strong you can anyone can do anybody jutsu is what it makes it seem like at first it was like only Kakashi or like the Sharingan people can do it but then at a certain point other people start doing copy jutsu. Other people start doing like Rasengan type stuff. Like then when they start introducing elements like the wind, the lightning, the water elements. Like, bro, your zodiac mixed with like sci-fi is like what the hell is happening in Naruto at a certain point? But it's still good. And then Boruto is gonna have like basically you get possessed. Like, <laughs> cause like what is a dope Boruto's power? Like what the hell is that? But what I haven't been watching Boruto. I think the last thing I saw was like when they saved Momoshiki. Is that the white person from space? The dude. But yeah, um, they saved Naruto from the space dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, my hero. I looked it up. A lot of people are like, get annoyed when people say my hero is good. It's so funny, but it's good. Um. I thought Bakugan, like, he, Kashan, he annoyed the hell out of me. He still kind of does. He just yells about everything. Dude, you need some sex, bro. I know they're, whatever. Yeah, you need chill. <laughs> you need chill. Um, but they had that, him and Midori had to fight. It was good. It was good, man. And then, um. And unlike Dragon Ball, which can be long-winded too, and it's like, you know Goku's gonna show up and win. But 
unlike this, you, you have a feeling Midoriya might win. He is still the main character of the show. But it's like, you don't know at the same time. Like, Midoriya takes some L's. So, um, and they give every character their chance to shine. And also, what I love that it does, no matter what, they will show people's name and their quirk at the top of the screen. And it's not even like an obnoxious way to where you notice it. Because if you're watching the show to be like invested. But like they show people's quirk just in case you forgot it. This is what this person can do. So be interesting. And I can't wait to see like what happens in season four. It's going to be super interesting. Like it went off because Hulu has season up to season three. It went off from like, okay, cool, can't wait for the next one. Like, well, my hero, be back, season four. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is it. <laughs> you show the dude that can like disappear and like go through the earth and then you just cut off. Y'all dirty, but should be back soon before you know it. I think October, September, but it's exciting. Like, I love the show. It's telling a complete story. This dude had no powers. He inherited powers and his rise from just basic human to like elevated human and how he learned to be a hero and now to like take up the torch of the hero that gave him his power and now everyone else is still getting better around him and then everyone's shocked that he's getting better. But like all might say it, like you can't hate on him because he was at zero. It's easier for you to level up if you're at zero. So obviously it's like exciting to see what he can do next because he couldn't do anything a year ago. So, um, but complete story and right now they're going through school. Next season should be the last year of school. So, or season five, I think would be the last season of being in school. So dude, cannot wait. It's so interesting. Uh, I tap the button 